What's going on guys, Brian's here. Today is Thursday, December 30th, 2021, and the market is open. Now I was planning to hop on mic just to show you guys certain things around the new features for the options tab on the Quant Trading app site, but I don't know how many of you would be available to actually show you guys this live. So I figured I'd just record a very quick video and then you guys can check it whenever you're available, whenever you have time. So something that's really important here or pretty neat to see, there's a little bit of a soft update last night. If we click um, uh, the strike prices now for this is this week's expiration, so tomorrow's expiration, you guys can now have the ones that are the highest open interest volume and premium will be highlighted. What's unique here is we're seeing that all three of these line up for this strike price for Apple and we can see Apple's strike price. So if we actually come to the charts tab and uh, pull up Apple, uh, let's maximize this for a second and let's go to apple we at this point already are aware of how it's been trading because it's been stuck and getting pinned right here now we have the weekly resistance level which is pretty much uh, 180 so this confluence here and for a trade i had posted in chat like you can capitalize on using some sort of butterfly spread or something like that where you're capitalizing on price getting pinned and that spread opened around 20 something cents here i think it was around 30 cents and last i checked it's going for like 90 cents or something like that so that's a 3x return just from having this type of information and 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 noticing uh one of you guys actually were the ones to point out the how much premium there was in this strike now something to take note of is the fact that there's a decent amount of premium here but then past 182.50 there really isn't anything down down here in terms of open interest or premium relative to these two so that's one thing you want to look out for if you're adding looking for extra confluence to to look for a short trade or if you're using that type of information to catch this short or some sort of pinning now the longer something has been pinned at a level uh on a friday it could still very much so break out because at that point on friday it has no longer any extrinsic value in it it's just kind of going in the money and at that point, the market makers would have made a decent amount just off of the extrinsic value, which is the time decay. And not to mention, they probably already started selling the options for next week. And there's uh, comparing the two, there's not actually that much premium in terms of a difference. It's only was that 17 million uh, or 17,000. So not that much of a difference, I guess, but then you can just start looking out. But I wouldn't even, you know, complicate it that much for yourself. I would just take a look at this. The fact that these three are lining up, if you're looking for a short trade and you had reasons because of uh, some sort of candlestick pattern, some sort of retracements that you were looking to get short, some any type of wick rejections, inverted hammer, then by all means, take the trade. Now, where things start to get a little bit interesting is if we come to something like Tesla. So take note of that's when everything lines up here, right? If we come to Tesla, we go to, we can look at this week, take it, take note of this. This is where the highest premium is. And right away, you guys can see that this is, this is already a huge convenience factor, at least for me, because usually I'm always scanning up and down and I'm looking for this. And this is what I used to do on Thinkorswim a lot, but just coming here and having it light up for me real quick for the expiration is already a, a, something that I'm, I know I love. And if we scroll down right here, we can notice that there's a lot more open interest. This is the highest open interest. So the open interest is all the way at 1200. But yet there's the most amount of premium here. So this is how you would think about this. It's like if 1100 was to break, it, it could go uh, a little bit higher because there is open interest higher. People are interested in that price. That's one way to interpret this information. If we go a little bit further out, because these are just weekly options. So obviously there's not that much weight on them. So let's pay attention to the monthly and see if we notice anything. And it's essentially the same thing. This is where the there's the most amount of volume and premium here. But the open interest is actually down here. Now, there is not a huge huge significance in terms of the difference that's the highest open interest but look this is the open interest for this down here at the same 1200 strike price it's only about you know less than 2000 more and that's not that large of a percentual change so you want to just look for little things like that to see if you spot clues because if tesla got to 1100 and it blew past it what makes this a little bit different here is knowing that there is open interest higher the way this would be interpreted is, is it's some kind of spread it's more than likely the 100 uh the 1100 call was shorted and they bought this call up here to offset the risk as a hedge that's one way it can be interpreted the options chain there's there's multiple different ways to read this type of stuff so if you're now starting out looking at this the the objective is to keep it simple for yourself and just look for little clues and eventually you'll just start spotting little neat things now if we saw this right here 
and this open interest but then we scroll down here and we see the open interest here was 60,000 that's completely different that's something that you take note of you probably screenshot this put this down in your notes be aware of when Tesla gets to 1100 that there's almost three times more open interest for a higher strike price that it's more than likely going to blow past this by this expiration here so you want to you know track and take note and keep keep that type of information in your back pocket as well as share it in a discord because that's kind of the intention it's like all of us thinking properly and using the data to our advantage and taking these quantitative trades this is tesla right here this was this is the 1100 strike and we can see how it and it acted as resistance a decent amount for this week and um it's not looking like it has much intention to go much higher for now because again even though we looked at the open interest is higher all the way past to sigma it's the same open interest here as it is here and that's not necessarily enough of a driving factor for tesla to go much higher i don't have much of the historical data on this so we can't see how this would have you know traded out in the past yet we will i will get that information eventually right now anything moving forward it is tracking the open interest in volume so i would like to have it ideally plotted on the charts for us as well as below the charts page i want to have kind of snapshots for what the options chain look like at that point in time so just like how we can go back in time right now and view previous dates for the quant trading app levels so that's um this brief video here again just pay attention to little things like this and how easy it is to spot it out and if you spot anything again post it in discord and let's all uh have a collaborative you know mentality towards looking for these types of great opportunities and you guys know the trade which we're in right now for shop i'll end off on this and let's just see if we see anything here so decent open interest at 1450 uh, i mean it's the volume and premium this is about 900 if we scroll down this is two times as much open interest here at the 1500 dollars strike price and this is for the zero days uh, one day till expiration let's go a little bit further out and we can see okay so the most amount of premium is here um most volume traded today is 1500 but look at the open interest uh where is it first time seeing this wow great amazing so this can kind of help your bullish case if you're if you're if again this is not the only reason to take the trade but if you combine this with other things and when you're entering your trade again these are swing trades these are not scalps these are not momentum based trades obviously you don't have time to look at all of this if you're just trying to capitalize on a small move but when something is in the buy zone and you see this type of stuff and you start saying like oh the, it can it go from the buy zone to the sell zone which we've seen happen when there's a lot of momentum in the market it's only one day left for shop to make it up here because it's thursday but it is possible and then you want to start thinking instead of doing it for the weekly maybe you should look at two sigma and then just round this up because it's shop so just call this 16 a uh, hundred this is how you can think about a swing trade because for the weekly it's not going 1600 unless a catalyst comes out but for a swing trade it could more than likely make its way up to 1600 and any resistance along the way is likely to break so you can start thinking and planning out a bigger picture trade and at this point if you're buying 1600 calls back here when shop is in the buy zone those calls are dirt cheap you know and you can you will you're already up pretty nice hopefully this helps and let me know if you have any questions later